what's going on you guys today we get a, a little tutorial on how to do my layout in Photoshop not really a tutorial but I'm gonna show you how it's made and how it's done but for those of you all lazy asses out there including me um, I'm gonna teach I'm gonna provide a template I guess you would say to this exact uh, replica of my layout that I do for, for all my videos. I know this may look a little, little bit different, but let's get straight into it. Um, yeah, for once, once again, I am a lazy ass. So, if someone were to offer me this and say, "Hey, do this, do this," these are the exact dimensions for this little square, this little square, this little square, this little square. I'd be like, "Fuck no! Give me a template. I want to do my. I want to get a template, input my own information every time." and just do it my way so that's my thought on that but other than that guys let's get straight into it so here we have the template itself you can use whatever background you want for instance and you can change the color let's bring my keyboard in for instance we have this little smoky um dankish colors for instance let's make it purple make it fucking dank so we got purple just hit control backspace on layer 2 right here because that is the color layer and then hit control backspace and then voila it just changes the colors so for instance let's say you want a blue smoky voila and that's all control backspace and then you can bring in whatever wallpaper you want for instance let's say you want this um, space wallpaper that I'm, gonna, that I'm going to include into it and there it is just simply hit this eye icon and it brings in the wallpaper and then you can just go back to layer 2 go to, go to the background color set background color let's say you want a green hit control backspace again and it's green let's say you don't want that wallpaper you want to bring in your own bring in your own by all means I honestly don't give a shit and we have another grunge background which I mainly use on my videos because it, it's nice and simple, doesn't add too much effects and all this crap to it. So other than that, um, yeah, you can just change the colors, bring in your own wall wallpaper, make sure it fits the, the outline of this. For instance, Control T. See, just mess with it until it fits it, I guess. And if you want to go plain, I guess you don't want any, too much on it. Just leave it like that. There it is. It's fine. I mean, if you're a plain, simple guy, plain, simple girl, this is perfect for you. Aside from that, and this is the easiest, easiest way to, I guess, provide all my information. This is very, very easy to make in Photoshop if you were, if you had enough time. It is very, very, very time consuming. This took hours and hours and hours and hours to complete finally like after hours and hours and hours I finally completed it and you can see all these folders they're all into folders and in those folders are more more folders so group one is where all the colors and backgrounds are going to be so for instance let's say you want to add a kill streak in this uh, that your first kill streak here let's say you want to you're using UAV you can add a UAV or let's say you have a a sentry gun set there. You have a, you can use a sentry gun or a precision airstrike. You got a precision airstrike. Every kill streak is in each folder for the kill streaks part. So let's say the second kill streak. You got a UAV there. Second kill streak. Let's say you use a stealth bomber, and you can see it shows up right there in the second one. And then the third kill streak. Let's say you want a, a nuke. <laughs> uh, you want a nuke. There's a nuke right there. Um, so yeah, and it's going to show up right there. And then for the perks, the perks are going to show up perk 1 right here, perk 2 right here, perk 3 right here. So perk 1, let's say you're using One Man Army Pro. Perk 2, you're using Lightweight Pro or, no, Danger Close Pro. Let's go with the Noob Tube. Let's hide this Noob Tube. Perk 3, you're you, 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 let's just say you want to use Sitra Pro by all means go ahead go ahead use whatever you want this is for you all I made this for you all for 
I mean, I wanted to help the rest of the community out. C9ers didn't really provide a tutorial on this, so I'm providing a tutorial on how to do this to you all. And primary weapon. This is these are the time consuming consuming parts that took a while to do. So let's say you want to use an assault rifle. They're all labeled by assault rifle, light machine gun, sniper rifle, submachine gun. Let's say you want to use a a tar 21. You got a tar 21 there. Let's say you want to use a AUG H bar. You got an AUG H bar there too. You get the point, guys. I really don't want to make this video too long. You get the point in each thing, and then you've got every single gun, and then every single attachment. Let's say you want to add a holographic sight, and then you're using bling as well. You want to add an ACOG. You can do that as well. And then you got your secondary weapon. It's basically the same setup. Hold on, let's just make this look a little bit more professional. Let's say you got that as your setup. Secondary, let's say you have a Spaz 12 and a, mm, a holographic sight on it, I guess. That's a little... Uh, it looks a little messy. You can uh, mess with the size a little bit if it doesn't fit. Because for some guns, they do not fit. Let's just say you've got a a Kimbo M9s. There you go, a Kimbo M9s. You can do that. So in every folder is every single gun, every single perk, every single kill streak, every attachment, every whatever the hell you want to add to this layout. And let's go to the equipment. Let's say you want to use a throwing knife. You got a throwing knife. You want to use a Semtex. You got a Semtex. You want to use a tactical knife. I mean, tactical insertion, my bad. You got a tactical insertion. You got everything. You have absolutely everything. Just hit this little eye icon and you got it. Let's just add a uh, grenade there. You got a grenade. And then for the stuns or. I mainly use stuns, so I have a stuns icon because you can't really tell what it is. But you got smoke grenades, flash grenades, and stun grenades, which is what I use in my videos because I really don't use anything else but stuns because flashes are extremely, extremely slow to throw. So you get the point, guys. I mean, it's very, very simple to use. I'll try to get the template out there if, if Berserk Hamster Sandal 23 is able to provide a link to this template. Um, by all means, go download it, go do whatever you want, go mess with it. And right here on the side, we got my YouTube channel. So, obviously, they, people who see your videos know it's made by me. And then I just included this little comment, rape, and subscribe. Because a lot of people think it's extremely funny and hilarious that it says rape instead of rate or like. So, let's just say you got 54 kills in a game. Oh, you see that little nuke icon? You got 54 kills, add whatever effects you want to it, because I'm not going to waste my time right now. Size it to your liking, add it in there, add some little gradients to it, and you die, let's just say, three times. You can add a three, and voila. That's it, guys. I mean, that's it to the to, um, template part. So let's just say... You wanted to save this. This video is going to be extremely long if I want to do this. So let's just cut it here and then I'll bring you into the Sony Vegas. So basically it's going to be a part two if you want to use this in Sony Vegas. So basically this is the template. You want to save this. File. Save as. Desktop. Um, let's just save it as a JPEG. Max size. OK. And let's just stop it there, and I'll see you guys in Sony Vegas, because, yeah, see you in Sony Vegas. Peace.